So one thing about Ireland, our Irish people, is that when it's we don't actually dress for the for the occasion. As in, it's snowing out now, and all I have on is a, is a hoodie and a gilet. Why didn't I wear a big coat? We just we actually don't do weather appropriate clothes at all. Anyway, I'm going in to get a massage off Kate. So, I went to flush the chain, this thing here, and when I flushed it, it actually broke off. I have to go get myself a new uh, handle. Handle. Off to the hardware store, and I have it. Ding, 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 ding. Brand spanking new. Right. I'm gonna put the, the light on, but it has an extractor fan, so it makes a bit of noise. Here's me being all manly and domesticated. As you can see, this thing here broke off. This connects into here. So um, now I'm gonna have to fix this. Is there any, uh, is there any manly music that I can play? <laughs> Oh, that's just not going to work. Ah, uh, should look it. Uh. <laughs> so manly. That's a, a a nice episode of when Evan becomes a fully fledged man. Another day, another. Ca not a day, not a kefir. <sighs> uh, so, blueberry and lemon from Low & Co. I wonder what that one's like. We'll find out in a sec. Oh, lovely, it's focusing on your bag. Doesn't taste like oh, it's a it? lovely vintage. <laughs> Describe the mouthfeel for me. It's very sweet, isn't it? I like it. <laughs> Describe the mouthfeel. Shut up, Evan. I would. I'll give this seven kefir grains out of ten kefir grains. Why is it lost three? Uh, there's not enough fizz in it. So ferment it longer, please, Lone Co. From your biggest fans in Mead, Lone Co's in that lawn. So we're heading into the she bean to get some uh, steak on a stone. <laughs> Hello. Happy Elk. It's time! Another unboxing. <sighs> Clue. Okay. This polo here. It's just a nice little polo. This is this would be my work polo, so I wear polos to work, as you can see with this polo here. So Nice little grey one, nice and simple, nothing too mad. Okay, so let me clear all this crap off. <sighs> hmm. So these here, I'm not. Oh, I'll just open them and have a look. You can see them. I actually really like these. These are nice. 
So they're not for running and they're just... I'll just wear them with like tracksuit bottoms or a pair of skinny jeans or something like that. So they're called Rail Fit. I wonder what they feel like on. Hold on, I'm gonna try them on. First. Can you see them on? And then, this one here I'm actually excited about as well. So, it's a Mac. And it is for pitch side, supposedly. This is nice, isn't it? It fits me well. I didn't think it was going to fit me this good. I'm happy with this one. Whee! Quick unboxing of uh, my Under Armour haul. There's some, there's some stuff for Yaz. And that's what I can't show you. Because I might have this uploaded before she actually sees it. So uh, uh, I'll record her opening it anyway. <sighs> yeah, I can't walk. This ticking noise in the background of this machine. This is basically, well it's an, an electrical acupuncture. This sets the frequency and this sets the power. So I have it on continuous frequency at the moment. Usually when I put needles in, you can attach this here to the needle like a clamp and then it sends signals into the actual muscle and energy pathway of where the acupuncture uh, meridians are, the lines through the body. So I've already acupunctured myself before I came into the clinic uh, so I don't want to do, I don't want to acupuncture myself again. So I've attached these little pads, it's kind of like a TENS machine. So uh, these little pads here, uh, you attach those onto the end of these things, I'll show, actually hold on. So as you can see here, I have pads around where my ankle is actually uh, swollen um, and you can I just took my uh, sock off and you can just see that it's just puffy like it's very puffy here it's basically like a TENS machine it stimulates the pathway of the nerves uh, and it creates endorphins in your in your area that you have the TENS machine on because it, it sends signals faster than the brain signals to the area uh, and it, it's like an electric shock or like a, a tingle if I put it up high then it, it makes the actual uh, the muscle itself contract how things heal is basically uh, you have to go through the inflammatory process and this is why ice doesn't really work because it slows down the inflammatory process from happening it has to happen anyway so this, all this extra fluid that's built up in my foot is the inflammatory process happening. So I don't want to put too much pressure on my foot because I can't put pressure on it because it's sore. So what I want to do is stimulate the area, how, how the fluid gets from your foot and then passes out is through little contractions in the area that helps the homeostasis in the area so it pumps the fluid back up uh, and it also brings extra blood flow to the area and blood flow is used to heal of the, the actual injury so that the better blood flow to the area the quicker the recovery and uh, that's the nerdy side of me done for today <laughs> so hopefully I can get better